All right, what's up, YouTube? Info Forty here. We're going to be covering Carlos Sima. Sima. Um, sorry if I'm like destroying your name, uh, but this is the top thirty-two gadget deck profile uh, from YCS Mexico this previous weekend. Um, I'll leave a link to the original video down in the description. That way, you guys can check out the original profile. Um, I wanted to give my two cents on this. Um, there's a lot going on here. All right, first off. Um, I like the idea, first off, of the six gadgets uh, with the six that have the ability uh, to special summon, uh, which is incredibly good. Obviously, seeing one of these uh, turn one with another gadget is a free search and a free exceed summon, um, which is pretty important to your deck. Um, one of the things... I guess that old gadgets didn't really have was a good turn one exceed summon. Now, how much is that exceed summon going to benefit you is another real question here. Um, looking at, I mean, this build is very trap heavy. Um, pretty much everything is good to some degree. Um, compulsive escape device for the double chain, uh, karma cuts to fuel his uh, blazing Mars, which is something else I'll talk about here in a little bit. Uh, I was really intrigued that I saw the Blazing Mars even in his deck, uh, but I get what he's trying to do with it. Um, only one copy of Anti-Spell, which is kind of weird, but uh, we'll go through the deck here, and then we'll uh, talk about some things. Sorry if I like, sound sick. I'm still kind of getting those allergies. All right, so the deck profile here. Uh, one Garnet, two Blazing Mars, triple gold, one Trick Clown, uh, triple silver, two green, two red, two yellow, two maxi, and one Lazuli. Uh, spells, one instant, triple brilliant, of course. Uh, traps, one time space, one bottomless, two quaking, two compulse, uh, one prison, two karma cut, one compulse, uh, one emptiness, one macro, two um, oasis of dragon souls, two fiendish chain, uh, two anti-spell, or excuse me, one anti-spell, one call and one warning. Uh, extra deck, one F-Zero, uh, Rhapsody, Rafflesia, Cowboy, Dweller, Diamond Dire, uh, Castell, Heartland Draco, 101, 2 Gear Gigant, Ouroboros, Norden, and 2 Seraph Knight. Uh, side deck, 2 DD Crow, uh, 1 MS, or 2 MST, 2 Twin Twister, uh, 1 Deep Dark Trap Hole, 2 Drowning, 1 Crevice, 1 Fairy Wind, 1 Anti Spell, 1 Super Graveyard Organisms, Pendulum Hole, and Unwavering Bonds. Holy shit, so many fucking one ups in this side deck. So, obviously, game plan. If things work out, I mean, who doesn't like resolving Brilliant Fusion? I assume your first Brilliant Fusion, you just want to send the Garnet and Trick Clown to start setting up your Exceed Summons. I don't think you want to send Lazuli Garnet uh, right off the bat because you want to have something to add back later on in your combo. I mean, I'm sure some situations you'll want to go ahead and just have this back in your hand for the extra normal summon uh, to be able to Exceed Summon. Sure, that's the whole purpose of it here. You have several combos you can do. I mean, you can get Trick Clown up and running. Uh, you, you can add this back to your hand for the second normal. Um, obviously, one Brilliant Fusion, one Gadget turns into an Exceed Summon. Um, one Gadget, one Silver or Gold turns into Ouroboros, turn one. Um, obviously, with as much traps as you play as well, uh, you'll have a super defensive setup uh, to ensure that you're going. i um, not quite sure how I feel about all of the one ofs here. Um, also, Lack of Solemn Strike kind of Kind of makes me wonder if he didn't have them, if he was super budget. I didn't really see all that in the video, but uh, you can tell that the build is very techy. Now, Blazing Mars, um, so while this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can banish three other or three other monsters from your graveyard special summon this card. Also, you cannot special summon other monsters for the rest of this turn. So, you get to just plop it out. Uh, during your main phase, you can send all other monsters you control the graveyard and inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each monster sent this way. You can only use one of each of these effects once per turn. <coughs> so, if you ping your opponent for some excess damage, um, it kind of ensures that you're going to be pushing for large amounts of damage. Obviously, also having three monsters in the graveyard, um, not super hard. And also with his wording, also you can to special summon other monsters for the rest of this turn. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can still special summon as much as you want before him. And then just kind of do your thing. It's kind of like Bahamut Shark, with the attacking thing. So, if, as long as he's, like, at the end of your combo, I believe you can OTK your opponent uh, with just this. Um, 
so I mean what this uh, typical exceed summon um, two exceed monsters and this burn your opponent for game um, okay I mean obviously you're not gonna be able to drop two of these at the same time um, to be able to exceed summon that's not gonna happen also he's recurring from the graveyard so if you you know your cluck with these I mean compulse or karma cut them away you know, kind of do you think? I mean, I'm kind of surprised to see what happens if you just bring it back with Oasis. Uh, I was also kind of curious to know why Oasis, but Oasis brings it back in defense mode. Obviously, with Oasis, you can't make your Gigant, which can kind of be troublesome sometimes, too. Um, still kind of questioning Escape Device, but I mean, being able to bounce back an extra gadget you just summon for free, yada, yada, yada. I mean, maybe bounce back Seraph Knight if you really have to. I assume it's just kind of like an end-of-the-line thing. Uh, but still... Um, possibly Solemn Strikes would be pretty good in here. Obviously there's a lot of board prevention, but when you have as much stuff as you have in a build particularly like this, you shouldn't have much of a problem. Also, you have all your Reflation targets in the world you could ever want for this deck. Also, side deck, um, Pendulum Answers, which are pretty nice. Blue Eyes, uh, more Spell Hate, uh, more Pendulum Hate, uh, Graveyard, um, Annoying Pendulum Decks. Uh, another trap hole, and then just back row and probably be more blue eyes hate. So <clears throat> overall, I I like it. Um, I want to mess around with it. You probably see me test it a little bit um, when I can in real life. Um, it's just there seems like there's a lot going on on the premises of what you really have in the deck. Um, a very nice finisher. Uh, reminds me of my boy Redox, but you know times have changed. So. A very interesting concept. So guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about this deck. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Card Fight Vanguard. M. Cole Games for miscellaneous trading card games. And No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.